Well, I have a problem dog, Sarah. She's very aggressive towards people in my house. She's bitten my mother once. No, no, no. But I'd like to come over. Yeah. She say no, huh? So, yeah, she tries to bite people in the house. When we go on walks, drivers, bikers, very aggressive towards them, other dogs. Do you purchase her? Do you adopt her? How do you guys can... I adopted her from a rescue group. Okay. No issues back then? Do you saw anything unusual? She did have issues, yes. What type? Well, when I went to get her at the adoption agency, every time a dog walked by, she would bark at them. And I didn't realize that... Yes. Yeah. And do you have dogs before? Yes, Sam, my other dog, uh-huh. who um, who's pretty well behaved, but I'm afraid that Sarah's starting to influence him. The child on the court. His behavior. I have tried three obedience schools with Sarah. Uh-huh. The first one we dropped out of because people were afraid of us. Yeah. So. So they were not very supportive. No. <laughs> no, they weren't. I mean, the instructor was. He was like, "Don't worry about it. Just come back over here. That's right. Come join the group." So, yeah. You should have taken advantage of that. I should have kept her in there? You should have kept her in there because the pack leader of that group says stay here. Uh, So he was your umbrella, and that's actually what she needs. She needs to be around people and for you to be exposed to challenge her in that state of mind. If you walk away from that, she's not going to learn. Right. Yeah. So she's not always a leader. She does walk in front of all of us. She has to be at the very front. She's there. Yeah, she's in. Lila. Yeah, the queen. <laughs> um, I have started, though, towards the end of our walks. I'll bring them both into my side. Going at the beginning. 